Okay, Dr. Elder, this is uh, part two of the presentation. And again, I'm very sorry that this is dragging on for so long, but um, this is just how I have it. Um, so I'm going to have two YouTube videos on there for you. So this is the second part. This is part two. So continuing, there's problems with Thin Man. Um, and it is because the plutonium that they're trying to use, it has a higher concentration and the spontaneous fission, and they think that the bomb would be unstable. So instead, they offer for implosion. An implosion poses a solution, and they actually decide that... <coughs> I'm sorry. They actually decide that that is actually going to work the best way. So, in July of 1944, Oppenheimer completely scraps plutonium and opts for implosion, which is the same as using uranium, but um, in a different way. So, they're going to go ahead and um, use implosion to design Fat Man, the Fat Man bomb in um, Los Alamos laboratory. So we're moving along here. Uh, sorry, skip the slide. So Trinity, uh, Trinity site is where um, they're going to, the thing about implosion is that it's a still a new, um, as, we, as, we, as we saw right now, it comes in late in the game. So implosion is still sort of um, new to them, and they do, there's still a lot that they don't really know about it. There's actually a really funny story where um, Robert Oppenheimer um, says to his wife that <laughs> if they succeed, um, everyone will know about the bomb, and you will know that I lived. And if not, then you will know that the bomb never went off. So <laughs> um, that's sort of a testament to how little they know about how this is going to go. Anyways, they tried the implosion um, uh, design with the gadget. The gadget was an implosion type of plutonium device. So, like I said, they're going to actually use plutonium, not um, uranium. Sorry, my bad. But, again, the, the thing they wanted to do um, is use plutonium with the same um, mechanics as they used with the uh, uranium one on Little Boy. However, um, again, I'm sorry, it's, it's science, so I'm kind of like, but um, the thing about it is that plutonium is going to work better with the implosion design, better than it would with the gun barrel design that was with uh, Little Boy and Uranium. So uh, the gadget was an implosion type of uh, plutonium device. Uh, my, my, uh, my fault, my mistake. Um, the gadget uh, is hoisted, you know, and they prepare it to uh, detonate, and everyone's there, Bush, Chadwick, Conant, uh, Farrell, Fermi, Oppenheimer, and there's a shockwave, uh, they, they, they ex it explodes, and the shockwave was fell over 100 miles as far as El Paso, Texas. So, and this is also when Oppenheimer um, famously quotes, now I'm become dead. The Destroy of Worlds. That was actually in an interview a little bit later after that, but um, definitely iconic. So this is what I was talking about. Um, again, uh, Dr. Elder, I'm really sorry. Um, I'm not so much uh, caught up with the science and stuff. There's a lot of science. There's a lot of reading. But what I meant to say was that they do use plutonium, but that they use it in a different design. This is the uranium bomb for, um, this is the one for Little Boy. This is Little Boy, this is Fat Man, and this is, uh, this right here is a picture of the gadget. So, um, so like I said, uh, there is the gun barrel, it shoots a uranium bullet, and it explodes, causing that reaction. And in this one, they have a spherical sort of, like, um, made out of, like, a series of mirrors and stuff that causes an implosion, and that's the reactor for that. Um, so, World War II since Allies declared war. Um, there's been a lot of fighting and the tides of war have changed. But now after all of these um, terrible, terrible um, casualties, amounts of casualties, all of these major war efforts, uh, April 1942, Baton Death March, um, June of 1942, the Battle of Midway is fought, um, in November of 1942, Operation Torch, uh, Allied forces landed in North Africa. The Italian campaign in 1943 and 1944, D-Day is um, one of the biggest, you know, invasions as well. 
um, where the uh, Americans land on the shores of uh, eastern, uh, northern um, France and Normandy. Uh, 1944, uh, Saipan. Saipan is uh, captured by the Americans. Um, so as we can see here, um, this is a picture of uh, D-Day, a uh, very iconic image that really, really um, just labels how, you know, how, what these soldiers are going into and all, all of the efforts that they put into um, defeating the Axis powers. Um, so as you can see here in 1944, uh, the Western Front is finally retaken with the Battle of the Bulge in uh, December. Uh, six weeks after German offensive in Ardennes um, began, the Allies regained all the ground they'd lost. So, as you can see here, the tides of war definitely changed. Um, the American army has made a lot of headway. And um, also, not just in Europe, but also in the Pacific Islands. Uh, in Iwo Jima, um, there are a ton of fighting, huge wars, uh, huge battles, sorry. And there is a great amount of casualties in uh, Iwo Jima, Okinawa, and in 1945, uh, in May, Germany surrenders as uh, Hitler kills himself. Um, and in, uh, uh, in July of August of 1945, uh, Japanese cities are attacked with these firebombs, and the, uh, Japan during this time is really, really, really destroyed. And... There's a lot of people, 50,000 uh, people are killed in this. Um, during this time, um, the big three, um, Harry Truman, the British Prime Minister, uh, Winston Churchill, and the Soviet um, uh, President uh, Joseph Stalin, they meet and they discuss uh, everything that's going on and how the war is going to end, but also how Japan has still not... Um, still has not surrendered and so they try they try to get Japan to surrender even the Soviet Union um, um, tells Japan that uh, you know declares war on Japan decides there, there, there's no way that they're gonna win but the Japanese reject surrender they attack the SS Indianapolis and so they sort of leave America with no choice um, is sort of what I gather from it and in August 6th of 1945, uh, in Hiroshima, the Enola Gay drops a uh, little boy on Hiroshima uh, with a single bomb. 40,000 men, women, and children are obliterated in, in, one, in an instant. 100,000 more die within days of burns and radiation. Another 100,000 would succumb to radiation poisoning over the next five years. Despite the devastation, the Japanese still would not accept the Allied surrender terms. As a matter of fact, they tried bargaining, um, which it just goes to show you how um, how uh, these uh, how ja how Japanese society is um, with um, giving up. They do not want to give up. And in August 9th, nineteen forty-five, with Nagasaki, uh, they drop um, they drop Fat Man there, and so forty thousand more civilians die instantly and. They, um, this is a picture of, um, I believe this is Hiroshima here. And as you can see, it's just a huge, huge uh, amount of destruction. Um, I believe that is what they claimed at the Potsdam uh, conference. They quoted that, um, or face utter destruction. That was their second option to surrender. And so, as you can see, they followed through with that. So this is sort of a judgment on, 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 on the United States' use on the bomb, whether you agree with it or not. Um, in November 1st of, of 1941, that was the day that the Allies had planned the invasion of the Japanese mainland um, in Kyushu. Um, more than 500,000 Japanese troops were already in position to block them, to, to um, defend against them. So, as you can see, the, the, the bomb, um, the use of the atomic bombs, definitely, definitely uh, a very, a very harsh way to go to end the war. But, as you can see, the Japanese just, they weren't, going to surrender and um, 
I just want to leave you with that. What do you think? Uh, do you think maybe there could have been some renegotiations or something? Or do you think that the uh, American's judgment was uh, correct? And so um, with that, um, my presentation is over. Uh, thank you so much for um, listening. And thank you so much for watching uh, Dr. Elder. And um, I hope you're staying safe during uh, COVID. And uh, yeah, that is the end. Thanks a lot.